What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. Hey, I just bought this Five Fine Technology microphone, and it's a USB microphone, and that's because I was actually going to need to do some webcasts, and you know, I wanted to have a separate microphone um, set up to my computer. I have a BC Master set up to my one, and so my live streams, I've been using that BC Master. But I've also had Five Fine in the past, and they have been better than Five Fine. They've been great, great. And you know, I thought, uh, particularly at the price point that they're asking for these things, do they work for kind of you know, home amateur use. And in my experience, they've always been pretty nice. So I didn't have any reservations about picking up this one. And the beauty of this little bad boy is its price point. So as we're unboxing it here, you can see uh, we've, got to, ooh, we've got a stand. That was important to me because I want to be able to use this with a laptop, you know, through the USB-C connector. Uh, these little stands are always nicely made. We have some like polymer bottom uh, tips here that are rounded. So they should, you know, sit evenly. These legs are all metal. It's got nice weight to it. This seems like a polymer body up here. And then we have a big, you know, half inch screw type of adapter. As you can see, the legs kind of snap into place when I get them splayed out like that. So the microphone can sit right on that. And then we've got the microphone here. As you can see, it's just a standard USB-CA type of adapter. We have a very long cable on it. So you can actually have this plugged into your computer forever. Kind of put it off to the side, bring it out when you need it, plug it in and kind of, like I said, use it for podcasting. My, my thing is more live streaming. You can see we have a plastic cap here that will screw onto the base. And that's kind of nice the way this articulates. Uh, you might not be able to kind of tell here, but it'll allow you to have the microphone hanging off on one side, or you can swing it all the way down and have it inverted. Some people like that. Uh, that puts it a little lower. I'm trying to get the threads lined up real fine threading here. There we go. All right, so I've got the, the base screwed in here. Put that in nice and tight. You have a little knob here to tighten this down. So once you get the angle that you want, you can kind of cinch that in place. You can see the microphone just screws into this base right here. So we have a tightening ring right down here and you can pull the microphone all the way out if you had a, a swing arm or something that you wanted to attach this to. But I want to use this actually uh, on the base itself here. So I'm going to put this back in. It looks like we can tighten it down with this little ring right here. So I am going to have it facing me like this. So I, I do want the volume control facing forward. So I'm just gonna tighten, hand tighten it down here. I might tighten it down a little more. And so you can see we have a volume control knob right here on the front. And this is basically, I believe your pickup, it's how much volume it's outputting. And uh, so we'll try that out a little bit, low, high, but I'm gonna guess that right in the middle is gonna, is gonna be where I want it. Now, let me just talk to you a little bit about that articulation I was talking about, right? So you can have it like this, it's like this, be speaking into it. You can see the microphone pick up through the, the grill there, right down right down here, so I could speak right into it. But if I wanted to um, have it lower, I could actually just put it all the way back like this and now speak into it this way. And so what that's gonna do is it's gonna allow me to have the microphone lower out of the way. Maybe I'm reading something, maybe I have a computer screen, what have you. So you can uh, put it either way. I really kind of like that flexibility. But for me, I don't, I don't wanna, I'm not gonna have my head down and I'm just gonna kind of speaking straight across, you know, especially if you're interviewing someone like on a podcast or something like that, you're gonna be looking at each other for the most part. And so you don't need to have this uh, down and out of the way. Uh, in terms of how tall it is, it looks like it's about six or six and a half inches tall. We have a nice metal construction, this uh, bar that goes over and kind of holds this uh, metal cap, metal screen on top. And overall, I mean, that's pretty nice looking. I, I kind of dig that. And again, so far, I'm pretty impressed just over, overall with the build quality for a $25, $27 mic. Now, We've got to try it out and see how well it works. Obviously, that's going to be the big test. So let me get it plugged in and start recording some audio. All right, sitting at my desk here, and I've got uh, the Fifine microphone, as you can see here, set up right in front of me. And it's just uh, it's out of the way here and um, obviously below the camera. So my hand is just above it right there. So I'm kind of speaking into it. It's angled up towards my mouth here. Um, I'm just recording. I've got the volume setting set right in the middle. And so I'm just going to play with that a little bit. Hopefully that doesn't screw everything up here. But I'm just going to turn it all the way down or pretty much, you know, in a two-thirds of the way down and now I'm going to turn it uh, pretty much all the way up so it's basically kind of showing it's gone, gone from the middle all the way down to all the way up like this so I'm going to go back to the middle just because that's my assumption and kind of my 
uh, expectation that that's where I'll just put it generally. But obviously, if you've got um, a waveform or something that you're watching and kind of uh, audio pickup, you can make some of those adjustments on the fly. But otherwise, I think, you know, the 5.5 microphones, especially for home use, for amateur use like this, uh, can really be a great way to step up your game, to kind of get 80% of that uh, audio experience that you want for your viewers, your listeners, without having to pay crazy amounts of money for like a Blue, a Rode, or a Shure. I would love to try those microphones, but I've never had those, you know, because uh, going from, you know, nothing like a built-in webcam mic or, uh, you know, the microphone that's built in your laptop or whatever is pretty low. But then if you get something like this for $30, $27, man, you just jump up really high. I don't know that going up to that $150 mic above that is going to add, you know, to me 400%, 300% more value, you know, especially in my environment. But for you, you might, you know, if you're doing audio recording, I would say if you're trying to break through on singing on YouTube or something like that, you probably want to spend the extra dough and get a really good mic but i think in this case hopefully this is perfect for podcast videos whatnot so um i'm gonna look at the video to myself here and listen to the audio and hopefully uh you know i'm impressed with it but otherwise make up your own mind this is a this is a true test of it and so you'll be able to get a good idea of what this fine microphone can do and like i said hopefully it's better than fine hopefully this microphone too is great great check it out i'll put a link to this one in the description below it also comes in pink if that's your thing so you can get two different color versions um but check out the link below if you want to pick one up on amazon peter von panda out <laughs>